Hey there, third graders. Welcome back for another piece of traditional literature. Today's story is by Jan Brett, and it's called Honey, Honey, Lion, and it's a story from Africa. In Africa, the honey guide and the honey badger are partners when it comes to honey. The little bird follows a bee to its hive, and then she leads the honey badger there to break it open from its big, strong claws. Together, they share the sweetness, and that is the way it has always been. Maybe this day, badger was hungrier than usual. Maybe he forgot about honey guide, who showed him the way. Or he could have been thinking, my strong claws do all the hard work. Whatever the reason, that day, Badger would not share. Honey Guide scolded Badger as he waddled back to the jackalberry tree, his tummy almost touching the ground. She fussed and fumed as she, he tried to fit into his burrow. Finally, she cried out for all the animals to hear, No fair! No fair! Soon all the guinea hens were broadcasting the news. Honey Guide is in a major rage! But Badger didn't hear. He was sound asleep, smiling, snoring, and hiccuping from his big meal. Grumph! Badger roared out the loudest hiccup of all, and its deep, low grumble gave Honey Guide an idea. The next morning, Badger woke up hungry, his tummy flat as a pancake. That's when Honey Guide flew by, heading for the great gray ba baobab. Honey, 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 she cried, grinning. The little bird zigzagged over its large roots. Pitter-patter. Badger ran after her. Pitter-patter. Honey Guide flew low across the water hole. Splish, splash. Badger paddled after her. Splish, splash. Honey Guide glided to the top of a termite mound and bounced on one foot. Sprung! Badger scrambled to the top of the top and bounced off. Sprung! Honey Guide landed on a hollow log. It echoed as she stomped along. Boom! Boom! Badger hurried to catch up. Boom! Boom! Next, Honey Guide flitted through the, sta the stand of papyrus. Tall, dry reeds waved back and forth. Clickety-clack. Badger traipsed along, muttering, Where is that honey? The papyrus rattled as he went by. Clickety-clack. Honey Guide led him through a field of golden bristle grass. Swish, swish. Badger huffed and puffed, but the thought of the delicious meal waiting for him kept him going. Swish, swish. By now, Badger was tired and wet, itchy and sore, but he didn't slow down because Honey Guide was just ahead of him. She flashed her wings, fanned her tail, and dove under a, an acacia tree. Badger charged in after her, singing triumphantly, Honey, honey! Lion! Lion, lion, lion! Badger turned on his tail and ran. Swish, swish through the grass. Clickety-clack into the papyrus. Boom, boom over the hollow log. Sprung over the termite mound, splish splash across the water hole, pitter patter over the baobab roots. Badger dashed into his burrow. Honey Guide cheered. In a flash, Badger was as far from the entrance as he could be. Right behind him was the lion's huge paw batting the air, but he could not reach him. And that's the closest any animal could be to an angry lion and live to tell the tale. That evening, 
Mongoose squeaked to Elephant, who trumpeted to Hippo, who bellowed to Warthog, who squealed to Bishop Bird, and who piped to Hyena, who whooped to Zebra, who snorted to Giraffe, who was overheard by Guinea Hen, and buggled it far and wide. It was the Bush Telegraph, and it said, If Honey Guide leads you to a beehive, be sure and reward her, or next time, she will lead you to a lion. <laughs> Definitely think that uh, Honey Badger learned a lesson in this story. If somebody helps you do something, you definitely want to be there to offer up the same help. All right, my friends, I'll see you next time for another piece of traditional literature. <laughs>